Next up, I'm going to show you one of the goodies uh, hidden a little bit deeper in the mixer that you won't find unless you know where to go. Um, and that's the 31 band EQ that's in the mixer. Um, this is going to be updated in the near future with a firmware update that you'll actually have, um, I think, a total of seven, uh, maybe six. It's either six or seven 31 band EQs that you'll have to be able to assign to aux sends or the main output. Um, be able to be able to assign where you want to put it. But as of right now, on the 16 channel board, there's only one 31 band EQ, and on the 24 channel board, I believe there's six 31 band EQs. So let me show you how to find that in the menu if you're mixing from the board. Um, you can also adjust the EQ from the iPad app. That's the easiest way to do it. And you can also adjust the EQ from Virtual Studio Live on the computer. That's also a pretty simple way to do it. Those are the two easiest ways. But if you want to do it directly on the mixer as well, I'll show you how to do that. All right, to get to the 30, to get to the 31 band EQ on the mixer, we're gonna come over to this section with the screen, and uh, on this bottom section here, we're gonna hit the system button. I'm gonna hit page down, oh, page ups, until we reach the page six main graphic EQ. Um, on here, we see show band frequency EQ status on. If uh, this is off, none of the EQ settings you make are going to uh, do anything because the EQ won't be working. Make sure your EQ is on. And then what we're going to do is it says show band. And what, when we turn the show band knob, changing which band is selected here. And you'll see that when we change here, it's showing the frequency. First band it's selected. 20 hertz, second band's 25, 32, 40, 50, 63, so it's just showing different frequencies are going to be affecting. Now we don't have to go through each band one at a time. What we can do is look on each of these knobs. This is like the little uh, faders you see on an EQ, um, the little uh, sliders that go up and down across it. To the left is the lower frequencies. To the right is the higher frequencies. What we're seeing here is only about half of the 31 band EQ. We're only seeing 16 of the bands out of the 32. Um, so we can turn up or down that lowest frequency at 20 hertz. And then the next knob here is 25 hertz. We can turn up and down that EQ slider. And as we come across, you can see uh, um, I've got it cut a little bit here around this section is 125 hertz in the room we're in and the speakers we have we have a bit of boominess going on so uh, I cut out um, some of the EQ, EQ around 125 hertz so turn that down um, now if we go across all the bands and reach the end to 16 once we get to 17 you'll see that it jumps back over here um, almost all the way over. That's because I said, like I said, we were only seeing half of the 31 bands because we only have 16 uh, uh, LED strips here. So when, once we reach channel seven, uh, strip 18, or set, sorry, band 17, um, now it's showing band 17 through 32 on that graphic EQ, and we can continue to make adjustments to those frequencies. So. Uh, um, if you know how to adjust, uh, ring out a room for uh, listening to um, how to adjust for EQ, this is where you'll do it. Um, we'll go more into depth in future training sessions on how to properly EQ a room. But for right now, just showing you where that is, and you can listen to the changes each of those frequencies make, those frequencies make as you adjust the EQ. I would suggest, though, that if you don't have a good ear, a really good ear for music, or if you don't completely understand what EQ does, not to uh, make too many adjustments in there. Probably uh, uh, leaving it flat will probably end up being better than uh, uh, changing a bunch of things yourself if you're not sure what to do. But uh, that's where the graphic EQ is. Like I said, it is easier to adjust from within the iPad app or also from within VSL, which is the software on the computer. Um, actually quite a bit easier to adjust than doing it on the mixer itself.